everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we are back from another brand new video. I know you've all clicked onto this video, you've saw that delicious like clickbaity title and you've all got something on your mind. So let's just get out of the way. Somebody got a haircut. Haircut aside though, ding dong, the Murray is gone. Now before I actually get into this video and I start doing my usual stuff, I just want to say massive thank you actually to every single person that's new to the channel and everything like that. I, I was showing so much support in the last two days, obviously it was a very rough one on Sunday, but the overwhelming support that I got was absolutely tremendous from all of the Novo Nation. So from me to the, I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every single person. There's always going to be the odd person that says this and that, but the support was unbelievable. So yeah, let's continue that and we rock towards that 15,000. So make sure to be liking, dropping comments, let me know your opinion about today's story. So let's actually talk about what we're here to talk about today. Graham Murray has left Ranger Football Club with the option to go back and manage his previous post, which was obviously with the youth. So he can go back to the club. But just now, as it stands, he's mulling over the, his options. And it's looking like he won't accept that job. He'll move on and try and find something else. So fair play to him. Listen, I know everyone's going to focus all on his failures, like the Celtic games and everything, like the Cup games. His inability to learn or make substitutions at the right time. Picking the wrong personnel for every game. No adapting. I guess that but let's let's not forget the man orchestrated one of the greatest runs in entire football ladies and gentlemen that is the florida cup invincibles that's right invincible yeah now granted we didn't win it even though we were invincible but let's focus on some of the good times obviously he took over from pedro Cushina where we were just looked like we, were, we couldn't win three games in a row murray came in he'd done a few wee things with the squad we went on a run murray mania was running wild ladies and gentlemen for about four minutes. <clears throat> then that kind of crumbled down and we started seeing the cracks. Even when we were winning, even you go back and look at our play rates, we're like, he's not making many changes. They almost go back into this game. It was a 2-1, there was a 1-0, there was a 2-1. He's not making the changes. And then slowly, other teams got used to that. They knew how to play against him. He's just an open book. Listen, he's an honest lad. He obviously cares about the club. Did he take the huff maybe when he's hearing the Gerard thing? Yes, maybe. Did he fall out with some of the players? It look, it's looks like it. So I'm always going to be thankful for what he actually did because we look like we were just in an absolute downward spiral. I know we're not necessarily in the best position just now, but it's all up to us. We just win our games and we finish second. That's all we can do. If we just need to win our games, we just need to do what Ranger Football Club should be doing and that's winning football games. On the negative side of things, like I just, I'm trying to be light-hearted in this video. I'm not trying to rinse the man... Um, it's definitely not the right move in my personal opinion. I'm going to read with Twitters in just a few minutes, but me, I'm thankful it's kind of way it's done in. Wherever he goes, I wish him the absolute best in football. Hopefully he learned from his previous mistakes, because again, he made a lot of them and he didn't seem to learn from them. But he was honest, he was hard working, but he was just never a Rangers manager. And that's sort of my thoughts. Good luck to Marty. We move on. Stevie G. I just want to play football, you know. Get into the club now, Stevie G. As far as I know, it's going to be Jimmy Nichols going to be taking over as the manager. Obviously, everyone kind of just moved up a step. You know what I mean? Like, Jimmy Nichols now the manager, blah, 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 assistant manager. That is the way it's kind of goes. So, if you're curious about that, until the end of the season, it's going to be Jimmy Nick, which makes me a bit nervous, but we'll get to see what Jimmy Nichols can do. There's a lot of Jimmy Nichol defenders. So, we get to see if he can actually rally the troops. And I'm really interested now in this commandment game to see the changes we're actually going to be making under Jimmy Nick. So, that is my opinions. Make sure you be writing your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Graham Murray uh, tenure at Ranger Football Club. Again, hard working, had a good couple of results, but... Once he was caught out, he was found out, and it was easy to play against him. So, good luck to Marty. Let's see what Twitter's got to say. Before we actually do that, though, it's time for the sponsor break. The sponsor break's back, ladies and gentlemen. So, grab your refreshments. Three, two, one. Sponsor break! Anybody remember that Tune the Fat sketch with Sonny D? I never understood it. It was like he'd done Sonny's move and he spat out jelly. So basically in my tweet I just said, what's your reaction to Marty leaving? Uh, Batchy did ask, a uh, club statement says he's going back to manage the t youth team, is he not? And Snagsy, love you buddy, uh, says, for clarity, he was seconded as manager. They legally have to offer him his old role back. He'll likely leave it. He'll likely not take it though, I mean. Right, so let's actually get into some Marty reactions there. Sorry about that. I was reading a thread there. It just, kind of, it just went to a weird place. Just like now. Ross Watts said, agree, Wallace for manager. Oh, that's an interesting one. Do you think Kenny Miller and Lee Wallace will now be welcomed back into the squad for a Kilmarnock? 
Is Kenny Miller going to be the hero once again? Kenzie at Kenzie Burns 99 says, I agree, but Kenny feel like he was hung out to dry. Yes, he took the draw, but who wouldn't? Yes, some of his recent comments to the press have been questionable, but before that, he spoke extremely well. Tactically naive and still developing as a coach, but I wish the guy all the best. Tremendous, tremendous comment there for Kenzie. Completely agreed. DJ says, totally disagree. The only people hung him out to dry were the fans who turn up every week and spend their hard-earned money on that hopeless bunch. They at, least, uh, they at least can expect a bit of heart and fight on the pitch. They get nothing in return. <sighs> Feisty. Um, Cheeky40 says, I'm a Celtic fan. It's not a good start. <laughs> I'm impartial either way, but it feels uh, it was obvious he was going to go. My only issue is the way the man was treated. Disgusted. Uh, disgraceful for any club to treat an interim manager so badly, especially seeing as he's filled a role no one else was filling at the time. William Wallace says, Wallace and Miller to return to the squad for this weekend. Good shout, mate. Scott Young, another Channel Legends, actually said, I agree, but some of the abuse he's been taking isn't really fair, in my opinion. The guy has taken over twice when the club needed him to. He got hung out to dry by the board, and they have ruined what was good under 20s coach. He started well, but lost his job when Dembele scored. Yeah, good, good argument there, but the only thing I would say back to that is the under 20s is doing much better with foot money. They got pumped 6-0 off Leicester. A couple of months ago under Murray, they just pumped them 6-1. Swings and roundabouts. Kevin Wakeham says, I agree. Well, he's a nice guy, but sadly not the range of standard. Callum Stewart says, Wallace and Ma Miller for management. Lewis at Louis MCI says, I think he was thrown into the deep end, but he had to go. He was tactically naive and hadn't had a clue. Hopefully it doesn't take too long for the board to get a full-time replacement in place. Iona Poulsen says, um, she says, sorry, if it was the right thing to do, he wasn't the right man. I do feel sorry for him, though. He seemed a genuine guy who was chucked into the deep end by our board. Really surprised by the fact he could go back to our youth team. Will he take it? Who knows? I don't think he will. Yeah, me neither. And the last one I'm going to read out comes from King Ken. He says, agree. No reason. He stayed in the job as long as he did. That is going to be today's video. That is my thoughts. That is Twitter thoughts. What is your thoughts? Make sure you let me know down below. I've been CJ Nova92. Thanks for watching. And bye-bye.